Hey guys, it's Louise here and welcome back to my channel. So if you haven't seen my previous video, uh, you can go watch that. It's only a couple minutes long. Um, it's basically me telling you about the premiere and explaining that the first two episodes that I will be watching here are secondhand reactions. I have already seen the episodes in the cinema uh, at the premiere, so these are not my initial first-hand reactions. These are more of a review and just kind of going over it again and being like, yes, I love this part. Um... Now, I have never obviously reacted to anything Lord of the Rings before, so I don't know how copyright's going to be. I never got a chance to upload my trailer reaction because my trailer reaction, like the first ever trailer, got copyright striked. And I could never upload that. I never got the chance to do that. So I don't know how well these videos are going to do. I don't know if I'm going to be able to upload them. I don't know what's going to happen. If... Okay, so... If this video is short, then it means that I've had to upload the video to Patreon. I will make my Patreon free. I don't use Patreon um, other than to subscribe to like Blindwave and stuff. Um, but I will make my Patreon free and open. So I will upload this video and then I'll put a link to the Patreon um, so you guys can go watch it on that um, so that it doesn't get copyright strike. But obviously I'm going to make this video anyway and upload this just so that you know that that's where it is. But if not, if this video is longer, then obviously it's been uploaded. I don't know. I can't tell the future. So you're just going to have to roll with it and hope for the best. Either this video is going to be the reaction or it's just going to have a link to the reaction. So we'll see what happens. Um, so if you're new to my channel, you will know or you will not know, actually, um, that to get or to, to try my best to get around copyright, I will have a little tiny box here with the show on it, but it will be at, I think, 60% opacity. So it's going to be hard to see. It is also reversed and the volume will be pretty low. So you might not be able to hear much. Um, I get a lot of people complaining at me all the time, but this is the only way I can get around it because for some reason I get targeted. Other people can have theirs on the full screen no matter what they no matter what they do and they'll, they're fine. But for some reason, I've always been very highly targeted. I don't know the reason. Um... Maybe they just hate Irish people. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I've, I've always really struggled with copyrights. So, um, but that's always with Disney. So I don't know how Amazon's going to be. But we'll we'll get to that eventually. But just to let you guys know that it will be very translucent. And the volume will be very low. So please don't complain at me for that. That's not under my control. Um, I, that, yeah, that's just how it is. Uh, so, yeah, let's get into episode one. I'm excited. They really casted this perfectly. Like, even, like, child Galadriel just looks... She just looks like Galadriel. It's great. You know, I feel like even though I got to see an IMAX, I feel like because of where I was positioned, like, right over at the very side, and having the screen so big, it was quite hard to appreciate just how good the visuals were. I could tell they were beautiful, but it was so hard to see exactly how beautiful they are. And just watching this, I'm like, holy shit, this is beautiful. And we're only two minutes in. Oh my god, just that, that, oh, the music, I've got so many goosebumps. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm just gonna cry. This part makes me just want to cry. Oh my god. Oh my god, he looks so fucking cool! Sauron. Oh my god, he's so fucking badass. Oh! That helmet! This looks fucking terrifying. You would not catch me during this. Ever. Aren't the elves just truly badass? Like, they're literally the best. Yeah, you might want to run. That thing is fucking ugly. Jesus Christ, I would not want that running after me. Ah, yes. That's gonna kill him. Yeet! Oh! Oh, she's so cool! Yes! 
Oh my god. That's the hottest thing they she could ever do. Oh, incredible. God, her and Legolas are just so fucking badass, aren't they? Jesus Christ. This is what I mean, elves are just the, the greatest. There he is, the man himself. Clear and clear. I'm gonna be honest, the Harfits are fucking cool. And I'm so excited for more of them, because they're just... They're just so fun, I love them. <laughs> These... The, their friendship is so good. I love their chemistry. Oh my god, I'm so excited! So, for some reason, I... I, I Elrond has become my favorite character in the show so far. In the first two episodes. I just... He just makes me so happy just seeing him. He's just so wonderful. They casted him perfectly. His actor is so good. And I've just fallen in love with him. Completely fallen in love with him. I already... Elrond is already an incredible character, but I absolutely adore... Adore him in this show. He's so happy! His face when he finds out she's here is just... <laughs> my heart! Dude, Lyndon is a beautiful. I want a friendship like theirs. They're so wholesome. Oh, Gilglad looks awesome, doesn't he? I love his outfit. Oh, his little smile. Elrond's so cute. You know, it feels wrong to have fireworks without like Gandalf being there, you know? Gandalf is like the king of fireworks. Even though those ones are pretty cool, but... Oh, this hurts. This is sad. Parallel from, like, the beginning of her looking up at her brother and... You know, to compare to this, it's ugh, heartbreaking. But Bestie Elrond is here to fix everything. Are you guys ready to be introduced to one of the most beautiful elves you will ever see in your life? Anything to report? I love the whole trope of, like, humans falling in love with elves. Because why wouldn't you? How could you not? I, th I don't know where these locations are, but they're fucking beautiful, and I want to visit all of them. That does not look like a safe ladder to climb. I would not be climbing that. But my god, would it be worth it? This is stunning. I'm sorry, I'm gonna keep, like, complimenting the visuals, because, like, look at it. It's incredible. I find this part so funny because like she's outside already. She's just at her back door. There's nothing else around, but she still walks through the entire house just to go to the other door where someone else is just suddenly there. Hey, the koi! Isn't she beautiful? See, he walked around the side easily enough, but she just went through the entire house. <laughs> This looks so uncomfortable. At least give them somewhere to sit. Like, I get that to be respectful and, you know, do their elf thing, but like, at least let them sit down. What do your elf eyes see, Elrond? Not Galadriel. The actor for Gilglad is one of the... is one of the people who noticed our elf ears and sort of like pointed at us and was like, it's pretty cool. We elves stick together. 
It was this point that I realized it's not Celebrimbor, it's Celebrimbor. <laughs> A lot of names in this. I don't know how to pronounce. But we gotta hope for the best. It's not a huge issue, but I do miss them all having their long hair. They still look good though, but I just I just prefer the long hair. I mean, you're in the middle of a, a huge ocean. It's a little bit late to be having regrets. But I really want to see what's beyond. I want to I want to see. Let us see. Yes, the ants. Let's go. Oh my god. I hope that's not the only time we see the Ents, otherwise I'll be very, very upset. I fucking love the Ents so freaking much! Okay, goodbye! 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 Ugh, she's staring into my soul. Oh, love that transition. Absolutely beautiful. God, that's such a scary place to just jump into. Like, she had no other option, but like, my god, I would not be doing that. I want his rings, they're cool. Oh, shit. Oh, beautiful. Incredible. What a way to end an episode. Alright, so there we have it. Episode 2. It was really great to be able to just sit here and watch it again in my own little space, in my own little screen. Um, I got to see so much more than I could kind of see on the big screen. Um, and it's just... It's, it's completely blown me away by the visuals. If you couldn't tell by me constantly complimenting how good it looks, the visuals are just beautiful. And the music just has me like... Goosebumps the entire freaking time. It's just incredible. It's so freaking good. I'm obsessed and I can't wait uh, to react to episode 2. I prefer episode 2 over episode 1, um, but I did still enjoy this. I loved Elrond. I loved Galadriel. I love the Harfits. I love everything. And we got to see the ends for like all of two seconds, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think. Let me know who you think the, the, the dude is. I know there's a lot of theories going around. We'll, well, I'll discuss it more in the next video. Um, I say the dude, the stranger. Um, I'll discuss it in the next episode. But um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Did you enjoy it? Please try not to bring in any negative comments like, oh, blah, 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 blah. Like, your opinion is allowed completely, but I do not want any, like, why the fuck are people enjoying this? Or why do they have such and such and such and such? And, you know, all that kind of stuff. So please be respectful. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video, so peace.